Hi everybody, welcome for a quick snippet or a short summary of this first uh, practice exam. After you take the exam yourself, you can look at this and this is a key for you. The style of the test is what you'll be looking for. The material is very simple. The test will be much different than this. This is a lot of baby stuff. The test will be really uh, grown-up stuff. So um, get ready, here we go. Question one, how many cc's in an average teaspoonful? It's five cc's in an average. Sometimes it's four in smaller ones and five and a half or six or seven in others. But basically five is a teaspoon, 15 is a tablespoonful. So it can't be one or 20, 60, 60 is two, two ounces, 60 cc's. How many teaspoonfuls in one ounce? Well, if an ounce is average, 30 cc's, even though it's 29.57, but in an average ounce, if it's 30 cc's, how many times does um, 5 go into 30 and it's 6? You can put 30 divided by 5, or you can do dimensional analysis. Uh, Rx, 2 tablets 4 times a day. 2 tablets by mouth 4 times a day. Uh, everything else is wrong. Every other day is QOD. Uh, half a tablet is wrong. One and a half is wrong. So you should be able to just draw lines or delete the wrong ones and just select the right ones. On your um, iPad, you'll be able to do that. Strike out the wrong ones and just select the right ones. And then you just select it and swish over to the next question. It's very, very, very quick. A uh, patient takes a teaspoonful of medication four times a day. So it's five cc's times four. So five cc's times four, that's 20 cc's in one day. And it's written for two fluid ounces, which is 60 cc's. So 60 cc's divided by 20 is three. It would last three days. The reason you're going to have to know this is because in real life, um, you need to know the day's supply. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid right from the insurance companies. So you're going to have to do this all the time. You guys who are at Tex, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, micrograms. How many micrograms in a milligram? There it is. Now you're going to have to know micrograms, milligrams, grams, kilograms, uh, even nanograms sometimes involved. So be careful. Thousand micrograms in a milligram. <clears throat> milligram is a thousandth of a gram. Microgram is a millionth of a gram. How many cc's are in the following? Now here is the apothecary system. So it's the old system, which some doctors still write. FL, like fluid, it could be FL or F or just OZ, IV. That does not mean intravenous. That means IV means four. If it was VI, it would be six. Sometimes it's an I, sometimes it's a stick or a stick with a line. And uh, one ounce is 30, so 30 times four is 120. You should be able to do that. You'll have a drop-down calculator. It's not that hard to do. You'll have paper to scribble on and turn back in. Uh, how many quarts are in a gallon? Four quarts in a gallon. That's where it got its name. Quart, like a quarter. So quart is a quarter of a gallon. Or you can do, a quart is 946, a gallon is 37.85. You can, you can do that way. And this is 31, that's 1, 2, 3, 30, and a VI. So this time it's caps, same thing. It's 36, 36, there you go. 0.9% uh, of anything in water in each deciliter. A deciliter is 100 cc's. So the definition of a percent here is how many grams are in 100 cc. So if it's 0 0.9, it means there's 0 0.9 grams in 100 cc or 900 um, milligrams. Anyway, that short and sweet is your four minute snippet. Uh, if you want some more, just let me know and I can create a lot of them if you'd like me to. So um, I'll see ya.